Sister Wife star Cody Brown and his four wives have a whopping total of 18 kids in their family. Needless to say, that's a lot of children to account for. And although TLC has captured a ton of footage of the Brown children throughout the years, there are still a few things viewers don't know about them, especially the older kids. For example, Mariah's relationship. In January 2017, Mariah Brown came out to her family and the world in an emotional episode of Sister Wives. Okay, um, I'm gay. <laughs> Although a lot of viewers were shocked by the admission, given Mariah's conservative and religious background, many were rooting for her to find love. The good news is Mariah did find someone off camera shortly after she made her brave announcement, Audrey Chris, an artist and fellow classmate she met while she was a student at Utah's Westminster College. Mariah's mom Mary has publicly accepted the relationship. In December 2017, Mary took to Twitter to pen Chris a touching birthday message. Thanks for being the amazing person you are and for loving Mariah. So glad to have you in our lives. Logan and Mariah's Drinking Despite their upbringing, Logan and Mariah Brown don't consider themselves Mormons. The big revelation surfaced after some fans questioned a picture Logan shared of Mariah enjoying a drink on her 21st birthday, which is a big no-no in the Mormon community. Logan made this clear in two separate replies. It is typically discouraged in Mormonism, but I'm not Mormon. Mariah and I are not members of the LDS Mormon Church. Logan's Long Engagement in September 2017, Logan announced his engagement to his longtime girlfriend, Michelle Petty. Many fans were ecstatic about the news, considering the pair knew each other for a total of five years and dated for three of them before taking things to the next level. Logan is sometimes high-strung, and Michelle knows how to calm him down and get him to ease into it. Logan is definitely easing into marriage. He still intends to hold off on walking down the aisle for a few more years. He made the surprising admission in January 2018 when a fan on Twitter asked him when it would be his turn to say, I do. Haha, <laughs> I'm already engaged. Marriage? Quite a while. 2020. Maddie's Tangled Family Tree when Maddie and her now husband, Caleb Brush, announced their engagement in September 2015, the news raised a few eyebrows. Why? Well, it turns out Maddie and Brush share a family tree. Yep, Maddie and Brush are sort of related. But they aren't blood relatives. According to a report from Radar Online, Brush is the brother of Maddie's dad, Cody's brother's widow. Translation, Maddie is married to her aunt's brother. Dayton's Diagnosis Shortly after Robin entered the Brown family in 2010, she started to open up about her eldest son Dayton and his struggle with Asperger's syndrome. Although a lot of viewers know that Dayton has Asperger's, not many know about how and when he was diagnosed. Robin revealed that and more in a blog post from January 2018. Dayton would sit for hours setting up cars around the edge of a table or lining up his dinosaurs according to size. If anyone messed any of it up, he would fall apart. When Dayton was in the second grade, the school counselor and psychologist asked to do some tests, ultimately leading to this diagnosis. Robin says Dayton is now thriving. Dayton is armed with knowledge about how his brain works. He challenges himself and his behaviors on a regular basis. Mariah's Liberal Views Many Sister Wives fans might be shocked to learn that Mariah holds extremely liberal views given her conservative background and her past homophobic views. She told people, It was something I was so scared of in myself. If you were to ask me my biggest fear, it would have been to be gay. Shortly after coming out, Mariah started to gravitate toward more liberal ideas and feminist ideals. And on January 21, 2018, Mariah penned a lengthy message on Instagram about the anniversary of the Women's March that made her politics clear. A year ago today, I was marching my ass off on Washington with some of my favorite feminists. I will never stop marching for justice and equity, for gender equality, racial equality, for the chance that all people can succeed. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.